What is going on guys? My name is Nor. I appreciate you so much for clicking onto this video. I just wanted to get on here really quick and um share a little bit about what I went through and um hopefully you guys take something away from this and you're a little bit more of a believer after this, you know what I mean? Because I was a doubter, you know, I doubted my whole entire life. I doubted God's existence. I doubted that Jesus was even real. Heaven was real, he hell was real. So hopefully this video could just be a little bit more encouragement towards you. So to start from the very beginning, it's just been a rough life for me you know what I mean I've never really had an easy life single mother absent father you know the typical the typical story or whatever yeah you know so that leads to depression that led to my depression being bullied in school didn't really help you know what I mean so my whole entire life I go through this constant cycle of just depression and sadness and loneliness you know what I mean even thoughts of suicide thoughts of wanting to end my life you know and um fast forward to now I think it was like literally just a few days ago I get sick of it right i'm so sick and tired of all of the pain i just kind of want to be filled with god i want to be filled with this presence that i've been told about my whole entire life you know what is this god what is this jesus character you know what he can't do anything for me what what is he gonna do? My life is trash, you know. God can't do anything about it. I was just at my wit's end, you know. Weed didn't make me happy. Sex doesn't make you happy. Alcohol, all of these things in life don't make us happy, you know. They say all of these things are insatiable. You can't satisfy these lusts. You can't satisfy these cravings. And um, I just want to thank God so much, you know what I mean? He has revealed himself my entire life. I was just, I've just been blind to it. You know, I've just been blind to it my whole entire life. And I just want to come on here today and encourage someone that is feeling down so I finally cry out to him I cry out to him I confess my sins I said I don't want to do this anymore God fill my heart I accept you Jesus as my personal Savior I accept you I don't want to go towards drugs anymore I don't want to feed my flesh anymore I just want you to fill my heart. I want to be at peace. I want to be happy for the first time. I want to be filled with joy. You know what I mean? Lo and behold, in all of my tears and sadness, I'm in my room crying in deep prayer, straight, tears everywhere, snot. I'm like boohoo crying like a baby. And man, this presence just overwhelmed me. When I tell you it is the single greatest feeling, the single greatest feeling to ever exist, this presence just came over me and I knew at that very moment that it was Jesus. There is no, life is not a coincidence. Nothing is a coincidence. God created us on purpose. He sent his son to die on the cross for our sins. And if you accept him, you could feel that very presence. You could feel that very peace. Now the presence of the Holy Spirit is so overwhelming. You literally feel it pulsating through your body. It's like a wave. I kid you not, you can look this up. You know, other people have felt this feeling and it's like a wave that washes over your arms. You know, it washes over your body. It's cleansing you. It's literally cleansing your spirit. And I feel like a new person. I've, I've never felt so happy. I've never felt so at peace. You know what I mean? Like I would literally frown each and every day. My spirit would be broken. I would just be, I would literally be a vessel, an empty vessel walking around. I, I came on here today to tell you I'm finally filled that hole in my heart. Jesus lives within me. And I just wanted to encourage someone watching this. I promise you, if you're depressed and you're watching this, if you feel like you want to kill yourself and you're watching this, cry out to Jesus and I promise you, he will move. You will feel that very feeling. He is here. He's been here the whole time. You just haven't noticed it. How can you look at this beautiful world and say that there is no God? How can you look at this beautiful world and say that Jesus doesn't love? He loves you. He loves you in this state and he wants to change you. He took away my lust. He took away, I used to look at things I wasn't supposed to be looking at, but he took that away from me. I don't want to look at that stuff anymore. I look at that as filth now. It's gross to me. It's disgusting. He took that out of my heart. You know what I mean? Naturally, we're sinners. You know, we're born in the flesh. So of course we're going to be born with sin. Okay, so I wake up very next morning, the very next morning. I just look up and I see the most beautiful beam of light. It wasn't like any sunlight I've ever seen. It was almost like in the shape of an eye. There was clouds around it, but there was an opening in the shape of an eye. And these light rays were coming down and I just smiled. I just smiled and I've never looked at the sky in such peace and just even now I feel this overwhelming sense of peace I feel this overwhelming sense of joy and I literally I spring out of bed now 
I used to I used to stay up at night, six, seven in the morning, in my depression, in my deep depressive state. But now I just wake up with so much joy, so much happiness. And I just want to encourage someone today, whatever you are going through, I promise you, Jesus could take it away. He could take it away and he can fill you with something better. Alcohol, drugs, sex, these things do not, you can't satisfy those things. Come to God, come to him humbly, come to him in humility, come to him in your the state that you are you know you don't have to be perfect okay so when i was in my depressive state i took a drive to the park and i saw a cardinal and i was like wow that must be a coincidence why would why would god send a cardinal my way you know that doesn't mean anything you know maybe it was god maybe it wasn't fast forward to now when i'm fully saved and jesus is fully living in my heart i see a cardinal again I see a cardinal again. I'm going to show it in this video. I literally wake up once again in the morning, go outside to a beautiful morning, and I see a red cardinal. Google what it means when you see a cardinal. It's a spiritual meaning that's like, it's red for a reason. It's meant to capture your attention. It's to, it's to comfort me. You know what I mean? Look up the meaning of a cardinal if you don't believe me. The spiritual meaning of a cardinal. That means he's got your back. That means he's with you. That means he's watching you. He will never leave you. All of these, look at all of these things. These are not coincidences. You know what I mean? The Bible says nothing separates us from God's love. Not even the depths of hell. You know, so I just want to save someone today. Well, only Jesus can save, but I just want to lead someone to Christ today. And if you look in the description, if you could just say that prayer tonight. Say that prayer tonight, please. I don't want to see anyone go to hell, especially my closest friends and family. Strangers watching this, brothers and sisters in Christ, if you're watching this video, it is not too late. The wrath of God is so very real. The Bible says repent or you will likewise perish. And I don't want anyone to perish. So if you're watching this video tonight, I want you to cry out to God, accept Jesus into your heart as your personal Lord and Savior, and watch things turn around. I hope you guys are blessed. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Um, once again, my name is Noor. My Instagram, my social medias will be in the description you can reach out to me anytime man god is so good i just feel so pumped right now i feel so good you know what i mean there's no food no food on earth that is greater than god filling your heart you know what i mean being full is one thing but being full of the holy spirit is even better amen being full of the holy spirit is the most amazing and beautiful thing you can ever experience you do not want to miss out on the free gift of salvation the only thing is he's given us free will He's not going to force himself on you. You know, so you have to want him. You have to want him genuinely and from your heart. And I just pray right now that you guys accept him. Thank you so much for watching. And I pray that you guys be blessed. You know, have an amazing day, amazing, beautiful day. And um, I pray that you take the words today into your heart and um, consider these things. You know what I mean? Comment below what you think. You know what I mean? Um, This is just like a mini testimony of what I've been going through these past couple of weeks or whatever you know so much pain so much depression so much loneliness you know i don't feel lonely anymore i feel so happy right now i feel so complete i finally feel like i have a purpose i finally feel like i have a purpose you know i it just gets you so emotional you know you could literally cry at the beauty of god it, it brings you to that point you know i'm a grown man and i could cry in an instant because his beauty is just so pure it is so precious and you don't want to miss out that's all i gotta say you don't want to miss out on the free gift of salvation so be blessed brothers and sisters have an amazing day i love you all so much thank you for watching god bless i remember how you told me i can trust you completely so i am i doubting when you prove that you'd fight for me You've walked me through fire